off and run running. 365 at Summit at Juvenile Hurdle, Grade 2 contest over the extended two mile trip. And heading to flight at number one, Consortium and Who Dares Wins are the first two to take off and land. They currently have three and a half lengths on the newcomer and the well backed favourite, Robertstown, who begins life in Patton Company. That one running in third. Back in fourth is Old Fashion, the filly. Over to the inside of Sashovalan, and the back marker is a slightly over racing Fuberg as they head on up past the winning line for the first time. Full circuit ahead of them now, and it is Consortium, one of two runners in the race for trainer Neil King, racing wide of Who Dares Wins for double seeking Alan King and Wayne Hutchinson. Two and a half lengths away to Robertstown in third, and then over towards the inside is Old Fashion, and at the back end of the field, Sashovalan and Fuberg as they came up and over the next flight. On the approach to it, Robertstown ever so slightly put off by Consortium, just had a bit of a wander on the approach. At the moment, there would be about five lengths between the pair, and Robertstown, Brian Hughes, racing a little wider out on the track than at Consortium, who again is just having a bit of a stare at the next flight, but jumps it straight enough in the end. From in second place, Who Dares wins the white jacket down along the inside as the rain continues to fall with Robertstown in third, and then Old Fashioned over to the inside of Sir Chauvelin in the black and pink colours, as they take another Robertstown a little out to his left there, and Fuberg is racing wider out on the track. So at the moment, about 10 lengths from first to last as they begin the rise up and over Rose Hill, and it is Who Dares Wins along the inside, who actually beat Fuberg when they met 30 days ago on their debuts down at Ludlow, who dares wins the white jacket to the inside of Consortium. And they're a couple of lengths away from Robertstown, who keeps a close eye on them back in third. So Chauvelin, winner at Musselburgh on his national hunt racing debut last time. He is now into fourth place, narrowly in advance of Old Fashion. And Fuberg has been kept to the outside here by Harry Skelton as they now race on. They've passed halfway. And they're now heading to flight number five, which is four from the end. So Consortium and Who Dares Wins still take this flight with not a great deal to choose between them. A mistake there from Robertstown in third. He clipped the bar out. Still travels well, though, with Fuberg now improving to go into fourth place. He's making rapid ground, taking quite a hold still. A three or four length break back to uh, Sir Chauvelin as they're now heading back towards the home straight. And very quickly, Old Fashion has become badly outpaced. So five of them now beginning to tear off as they make the journey on towards their final half a mile or so in the home straight. And now Consortium is being pushed along hard to the outside of Who Dares Wins. Who Dares Wins is being tracked around the bend by Robertstown. And Fuberg is back in fourth place and then a little wider out to Sir Chauvelin. They're homeward bound in the Bet365 Summit Juvenile Hurdle, a race won 12 months ago by the brilliant Peace & Co. Who will it be this time? It is Who Dares Wins by a length over Robertstown, who's coming there, travelling powerfully at the third last. About two lengths between the pair, a little right-handed was Who Dares Wins. Robertstown is now being caught upon for a bit more. Fuberg away to the left is beginning to pick up, and then a little gap back to Sir Chauvelin and a weakening consortium. Down they come towards the second flight from the end. Who Dares Wins still travelling quite powerfully in front. Got that wrong, though. Robertstown not a great deal better, however, when handed half a chance with Fuberg back in third, not making any further impression and who dares wins is bounding away comes towards the final flight of hurdles and measures that one much better to robertstown who looks tired in second fuberg likewise back in third and racing into the closing stages they're finishing very well strung out here in behind who dares wins is going to make it an impressive two out of two over hurdles and he has fairly dotted up here for trainer alan king and wayne hutchinson who both secure a double on the day who dares wins wins and wins well Second place will be Robertstown. Through for third, Sir Chauvelin gets past a tiring Fuberg and a gap back.